Hey everyone, I'm Sydney Tarver. I'm excited to invite you to join an exclusive community I've created just for you, the People First community. This just isn't any group, it's private members only platform where you get the unique chance to communicate with me one-on-one -on -one for free. Yes, you heard that right. Direct access to me, all your burning questions answered inside the community, whatever you need. But there's more. When you join us, you'll be in the company of seven-figure guest speakers every month. We're talking about top industry leaders, rappers, online gurus, producers, health experts, entrepreneurs, ready to share their secrets to success with you. Plus, as a member, you'll gain full access to all my exclusive programs. These include comprehensive guides on how to start a trucking company, launch a rental car business, buy your first rental property, use AI, so much more. And let's not forget that we have bi-weekly Zoom calls. These aren't just any meetings, they're deep diving mastermind sessions where you get called on, engaged, and involved in serious business training. If you sign up right now and lock in your membership, that's just $5 a month. That's right, the friends and family discount right now. You'll be grandfathered in this incredible rate, low rate for your life. Don't miss this opportunity to learn, grow, and network within the People First community. This segment right here, my bad, I done stepped on the foot. Embrace your creative side. Growing up, I used to be a football player, so that was my identity for like 21 years, I say. In school, I only like sports. I ain't like art class, music class, all that. I ain't even really like school that much, but arts and creative and plays and doing all that kind of acting stuff, the kind of skills that I'm doing now with this content creation, it's crazy. You dig what I'm saying? So embrace your creative side. Everybody got a creative in them. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know how to create something. Maybe that's not you, but I'm saying with me. I used to think I was a football player, a worker, then I went to the business owner, but now as I've been in the business, I'm getting to my creative side because anybody who can bring an idea out of their head and bring it into real life, for example, I wanted to start a trucking company, so I started that. I, it started as an idea, then it manifested into 50 trucks and business, employees, you understand me? But now I've been leaning more into my creative side. I did things like stand-up comedy, something I would have never tried you could have never got to try me, me to try that when I was young. Public speaking. I was so scared of public speaking, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy now. I'll get up in front of people and do that. Content creation. I'm not no social media person, if you know me. I used to frown upon social media content creation, being a creative. I like art museums. I like art. My friends are artists. I always want them to paint for me or do something. I got in the studio, shout out to Big Papito. I made five rap songs, you know what I'm saying? I just lean them on them, creating whatever's in my head, I'm trying to get it out and go put it on, you know what I'm saying, on wax, on paper, on art, on canvas, whatever we doing. So lean into your creative side, your free spirit, everything don't gotta be so serious, create. And people who critique your art, it's not for them. Keep creating, somebody is gonna say yes. You mean what I'm saying? You're gonna get a million no's, but that, all it takes is one yes on your art, on your song, on your music, on your, beats on whatever it is that you creating from scratch with your own personal soul and blend into it just keep going and know that it's a lane for you so stay creative stay positive keep hustling join the people first community if you want to meet a mind full of business entrepreneurs creatives it's just a great mix of people trying to be better in life and that's all we own let's get it is that a maybach it's good to see somebody get it truck game man ain't going nowhere Big Bird truck. He that that cab say what? Fontana, California. Trucks make the world go around. You dig what I'm saying? Trucks make the world go around. Big dog got it parked up in the. You know what I'm saying? Right there, ready to pull a load. Big Bird truck. Shout out Big Bird, getting it in. You did. Oh, what do you know? There go another. There go a truck. You can make money with that. All I see is money all around. Money all around. Look at this. Blackened. That's crazy name right there. I don't know about that, but it's a it's a box truck. You dig what I'm saying? We're getting it in. Trucks everywhere making the world go around. Let's get it. I don't know what's going on, but uh hey, just my last, then I'm finna get on my hike. Look, let me do 10 push-ups right quick though. A lot of subject loss. DJ, y'all gotta fix this with this weak ass um, subject loss. It keep happening. But yeah, hey, there you go again trying to do some bullshit. Tech problem. Move the camera up, man. But yeah, after the technical difficulties. But oh, I wanna go right there. Let me show y'all that. Let me show y'all right there. This shit funny. What you think live in there? Hold up, let me show y'all. This hole right here, how this hole got right there. 
is really big in person. You can't really tell on the, but yeah, that's all the way up the hill on the mountain. But back to the regular schedule program. Hey, I like my vlogging skills. Hey, I need to wash my face some more. That's crazy. All right, back to regular schedule. Hey, real talk. Now, the, man, everybody should. This is why everybody, I think, should at least. I'm not saying be a business owner, but you should have some kind of invest in entrepreneur skills. You need to have enough stock that pay you dividends because why would you sign up to be, your time is everything. Why would you, time over money all day. Health, time, then money. I would say family, health, time, family, then money maybe. But money important though, don't get it wrong. But why would you spend 40, who voluntarily, if you got kids, somebody who got kids tell me, why do you voluntarily choose to spend 40 hours a week away from your family? If you say your family is everything, you love your kids so much, why do you choose to be away from them 40 hours a week? And I could be wrong, I don't got kids, they might get on your nerves, they might be annoying, but still, you spending 40 a week, 40 hours a week from your wife, your kids, would you rather spend them 40 hours a week if you had a business? You see what I'm saying? This is why everybody should have a business. And when I say a business, I don't mean you gotta be the next Amazon, Walmart, Coca-Cola, but like, do you like doing? Do you like hiking? Start a group of hiking people where they pay you a membership subscription base. Hey, this week we gonna go hike the Appalachian Trail. This week we gonna go here. You gonna provide them resources, water bottles, hoodies, merch, boots. Build a business around what you really love. Do you like bicycle riding? Start a bike group. What do you like? Do you like ping pong? Start a ping pong club. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get creative. Everybody has a business idea in them. The thing that you love doing the most right now that you would do for free, put a business around it. And then people, I don't wanna sell nothing, no. That's how the world works. You pay Louis Vuitton, Walmart, you pay all these other brands for something. What are you known for? What's your brand? What you selling? What's your product? You feel me? We don't need to shop with everybody else. We need to make America great again, build products that Americans gonna use. You know what I'm saying? We need more business in America. If you knew how the economy was sitting right now, you would build something. Everybody has an idea. That thing you've been thinking about, y'all like, man, I would do that, but they already did it. There's no such thing as oversaturation. Do it again. It's a million, I say this all the time, it's a million shoe brands, it's a million cell phone companies. It's a million hoodie companies, it's a million tights, it's a million shorts, it's a million tennis shoe companies, the shoelaces, whoever made this reflective Nike patch. You feel me? Underwear, boxers, socks, t-shirts. It's a million of everything. Everything's already been made. Just make your version of it. But you're too scared of other people's opinions, what your friends gonna say, what your family gonna say. And that's cool with it. So I'll continue creating. Hey. Some of us gonna make it, some of us ain't. That's all I got to say. And we go. So Sid's in a meeting right now, but he gave me the camera. And I've been following Sid, watching him do this whole Amazon DSP thing for, I shouldn't say a whole Amazon DSP thing, but I've been watching for a good year now, just how he runs his business. And I heard so much about his life before, how like was in a corporate America job, making 70 or what's 60K a year and travel in different places and it was cool at a point for a time the first couple years going to las vegas going to texas or um, atlanta what places were and it was cool for him to travel get the company card but like at the end of the day it's 60 to 70k a year which sounds like a lot if you're not having any job right now but after seeing the money that he makes from amazon dsp it's made me realize that i'm literally going to college for nothing it's made me realize that like all is pointless because when you see someone make I mean, I'm seeing, I see the computer, like, like Beak, and obviously that's not all profit. You gotta pay for the labor and all the expenses, but when you see an 80K a week come through to someone every single week consistently, it makes you think, wow, I'm gonna go work 365 days a year for 40 hours a week, sometimes more, cut out a bunch of things in my life, miss out on events, not talk to people, go to bed late, wake up early, complain about work, when someone just made 80K in one week. Like, that's how I feel like. That's why trucking is such an outlet. And maybe it's not specifically trucking that you want to do. And when we say trucking, he does specifically sprinter vans, we call it trucking, but he's delivering packages last mile. So all the packages will get shipped to your local city, Amazon distribution center, and then 
his vans pick get them and deliver them to all the local towns like it's a pretty pretty model but man like you could start this like he's this he obviously had the money saved up um and a lot of people like to say like oh he's an nfl player of course he has the money saved up no like sid grinds hustles for his money like you in the nfl then work like it's not hard to save money. You can save money if you actually just don't spend money. Like it shouldn't take long. If you hustle and put your head down, there's ways to get money. And I'm not talking about working for $15 an hour. I'm talking about like online businesses, drop shipping stores. There's ways to get money, big jobs, landscaping jobs. But, um, and for Amazon specifically, you need 30K, but they're not taking the 30K from you, like out of your bank account to use it. They need 30K proof. That's the thing you gotta get in your head. They just want proof of 30K in your account because they're not expecting you to use that 30K right off the bat. They want you to have cover in case anything happens, um, like paying people. Um, you're first out of payroll because you're not gonna get paid for the first week. So that's why Amazon wants 30K. And um, if you don't wanna do specifically with Amazon, Amazon's cool to work with because you start into a program that's already making money, like you know it should be profitable. Whereas if you do it on your own, like there's a lot to figure out. Amazon helps you with all the business side of things. If you do it on your own, you're all alone. It's a little harder, but you still can do it. Sid has programs for that in his $5 community, by the way. Um, it's five month right now. It's going up to 25 a month. I joined that. There's a bunch of courses inside and just endless content, um, talking to people. You can text him. There's a meeting every single Wednesday um, where you can, ask him anything you want. Normally his calls are like hundreds an hour that we've seen people pay, but with the Wednesday thing, it's five a month because it's a group call, but there's not even a lot of people on it right now. So it's pretty crazy. If you want to start a DSP, you literally can for $5 a month or free, but he gives a lot of guidance. It helps out. He has this one kid, um, Justin, go out and he's mentoring right now, which is pretty cool. Um, Justin's got a trucking company or DSP. He's trying to figure it out, but he's getting the guidance here. And um, it's possible. And if it's not trucking, maybe it's putting your car in turtle. Um, Sid's going to venture into that, another form of income to show you it's possible. Like, And people say, oh, why is he shooting content if he's making 80K a week? You're right. Content doesn't make a whole lot of money, but it's another stream of income that he's trying to grow. Um, Smart like to diversify their streams of income. So why wouldn't you try to get many as possible, even if they start at nothing? Like, you're going to start at nothing. So that's why he's shooting content. Yeah, it's like an 80K a week, nothing even close to that. But... He's trying to make it and he's trying to teach. Having teaching on your resume is huge. Being a teacher, that's literally what the world is. You grow up and you learn. The world is learning. So I just wanted to share that. Yeah. 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 I want to talk about health, wealth, your diet, all that. Health. Let's get this done. 30 minute walk each and every day. Move your body. You got to be healthy. That's non negotiable. I see people, I forgot what I was on, but if you don't move your body, do all that type of stuff, look at this, I don't, you can't even see him, but he back there. Move your body each and every day, 30 minutes, get in the sunlight, get in the nature, get in natural elements, wake up when the sun go up, go to sleep when the sun go down, just basics. But um, hell, that's it, that's exercise. Diet, let's talk about diet. Diet is not just the food you eat. It's not just the food you eat. Your diet is everything, you dig what I'm saying? Your diet is everything. I'm moving, you see the camera flowing with me, that's hard. But uh, your diet is everything. You know what I'm saying? It's what you consume, the people you talk to. Go through your contacts in your phone. Do you really need those people in your phone? Let me see if I can get up here. It's what you consume, the people you talk to. Let's see, do you talk to negative people? Do you watch good TV? What do you watch on internet? Do you watch good content, bad content? What is your diet? It's more than just the food you eat. You dig what I'm saying? Do you eat clean? The food that you put into your body does determine your mood. It does affect your emotion psychologically. So yeah, does the content you consume do, the movies you watch, the TVs you do, the TV shows you look at, Netflix, Hulu, the books you read. What does your diet consist of? Is it more stuff that's feeding you or is it stuff that's taking away, making you think, giving you anxiety? You really gotta ponder on that. Only you can answer those questions. What are you doing to take care of yourself? Self-care, facials, massages, scrubs, ice baths, jacuzzi, sauna. What are you doing to take care of your body, maintain your body, treat your body right? So you gotta think of that when you think of health, wealth, mindset, all of this goes together. It's all one big puzzle that we are trying to get right. 
The more stuff you do right, the better your life gonna be. The more stuff you do bad, the worse your life gonna be. But don't get it misconstrued. Bad things happen to good people and good things happen for bad people. And is it even really a such thing as good and bad? It's just kind of is what it is. So you study the flow, study Zen, the art of war, the Tao Ching. It's so many things, so many good books and resources out there to get a deeper understanding of, you know what I'm saying? Once you get a certain age, it's your responsibility to unlearn the bad habits and learn the new ones. What do I sound like repeating some stuff the old people used to say and I haven't tried it? The only stuff that I'm gonna let come out of my mouth is the real life experiences that I've lived through myself. So when I'm talking to people, I have a hard time talking to people because they talking for shoulda, coulda, what ifs, if this hypothetical stuff that's never happened in real life. I'm more the person that's talked to like real life experiences, what's done really happened to me. I don't bust my, oh, but we out here though. Health, mindset, spiritual, freedom, get it together, and we go, man. Hey, yo, what it do? Why oh, I didn't like it? Not the subject. Why I'm out of breath like that? Yo, that what they want? That's what they really expect. I'm someone sitting up the breath. I'm sitting there kind me up a check, a future say. But yeah, hey, I don't even remember what I was doing because that just threw me off. But this your boy Sydney Tarver, man. We outside hiking in the Niagara, having fun, getting it in, letting the wind blow my hair, letting the sun hit my. This your boy Sydney Tarver, though. I'm road running, NFL, road running, people first logistics, taking care of the business, taking care of the family. Out here making it happen, creating content on my morning hike, dig what I'm saying? Stretching, feeling the breeze. People don't stretch no more, man. Health is well. I know that's cliche and all that, but I literally put my health first every day. I woke up this morning, worked. I couldn't wait to get out. I was like, all right, at eight o'clock, I gotta get back out in the sun. Let this, I probably walk three, two, three different times a day, go to yoga, try to count my calories, not calories, but my protein and eat healthy. I'm just trying to take this thing to a new level because I know if I take care of my health first, everything else will follow. And that means mental health, physical health, spiritual health. You know what I'm saying? It's not just no, what I'm eating, my diet is what I'm consuming, who I'm being around. It's so much deeper than that. People always look at things on the surface level. Everything be really deeper than what it is. You know what I'm saying? So you take care of your body, take care of your mind, take care of your spirit. And nature is one of those places I come to take care of my spirit and my mind. You can learn a lot from nature. The different seasons. These leaves weren't right here. You know what I'm saying? A few weeks ago, the grass is green. It was probably snowing on the ground, what, three, four weeks ago out here. Now everything, the sun done came back out as lush. We was just in the 30s, now we getting back up into the 70s. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful Niagara Falls in the background. Canada over there, overlooking it. Nature's just a really great place I can come and reset and set my intentions and really focus on what I need to do to take my life, take my everything to the next level. So I really don't take it. It's, it's kind of like, it's going to church. I can explain it like that. Like some people get a Holy Spirit and all that when they go to church. That's how I feel about nature. When I go out and sit in nature, listen to the birds chirp and let the sun hit my face, watch the trees, touch the grass. Sometimes I take my socks and shoes off, stick my feet on the ground, just get grounded, connected to the earth. You know what I'm saying? Everybody think we not connected. Everything is literally connected. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is connected in some form or way. Everybody you met in your life, you done met for a reason. Souls don't meet by accident, you know what I'm saying? So pay attention. Also, when the animals are out in nature, that's how you can gauge if your spirit is aligned. Do the animals come up to you? Do they run? Do they get scared when you walk by? You got to really look at those and pay attention to the signs because animals have no pure intentions, you know what I'm saying? Animals have no bad intentions. They have no, you know what I'm saying? So it's really on you. <laughs> hey, got another hiker out here. We out here hiking, for sure. In the lift, in nature. I don't know which way she went at first, but we out here hanging out in the nature. That's what I love to do, man. If I could do this, I'd be on one of them shows like, in the wild, you know what I'm saying, doing shit. Not the naked one, but I'd be in the wild getting active with my people, though. You feel me? And get out of nature. Stop being a bum. Let's get it. I got the bike in here. Oh, uh, I got you. I need a vest to go in. I'm about to go in into that meeting. 
I have to bike in here. <laughs> what is this place? Is this your storage set? It's the storage pot. It's the storage. We keep supplies, tires, mirrors. We know how to fix anything. Oil. Why? That's how he's making it out. Yeah, man. What we cleaning? That man's stupid dirty. We ain't draw that in a minute. Oh, that's right. I thought I bought the, I got a washer, pressure washer thing. The 3D Bluetooth washer. I got one of them in here somewhere. We in here. I got a meeting though at a 10. It's all about being prepared though in business. You never know what's gonna come your way. You never know what's gonna happen each and every day is a new adventure. That's what we signed up for. I think I need to bring the bike out for the summer. You know, I'm off on Mondays and Tuesdays, so I'm available for landscaping cleaning trucks, you know, yeah. anything to get a dollar. Tell them where to find you at. <laughs> you can find me anywhere. All you do is gotta say, we need it done. And in I'm Buffalo, you in Buffalo with it? I'm in Buffalo. Yeah. You come to the Falls, yeah, Lewis, to the Niagara Falls, Falls. All over. Well, I've worked for English Gardner for 11 years, so I do my own land. Hey, this is one of my best employees. He done been with me for years. I just, I just need the money. I'm he needs some money. If you need bag. your grass cut, if you grass. need something, my move, windows. whatever you need. I ain't babysitting. Nah, we ain't babysitting. Appreciate that. And it's all about that. That's what it's about, connecting with your people. That's why we people first logistics man you put the do, people first do most of your amazon drivers you get like how long have they hired for and why is it that length okay most people stay because this job ain't for everybody so i would say most of my people that have been with me most of the drivers i got now at least six months or longer but you get the seasonal workers for the holiday season they want to make some money for peak season for the christmas and then they quit right after they get their check or right after they get their taxes they quit but my main people been with me two three years easily grinding putting it in because most people want to come to the job yeah the pay is good but like, they want to be treated well when they go to work we don't harp over our people we treat them we all know we're here to get a job done and take care of our family so that's what people first logistics stand for and that's how you go from a zero to a hero by treating your people good everything can't be about the numbers sometimes you got to connect with the people take care of them ask them how their day was how their family he said he wanted advisors so i'm gonna look to get some visors for the guys not all monetary giving them a raise it's taking care of them giving them shirts giving them merch giving them hoodies giving them things to make them feel appreciated giving them coffee giving them donuts giving them chick-fil-a biscuits we probably need to go do an order of that so I probably get with that, but what's these phones here? Why you guys? What's the devices they use? Well, Amazon is a tech company. You don't need a cat device or a big scanner like UPS. Literally, the technology to scan the packages on the phones now. Everything is coming to the phones. Phones are the new computers, if you haven't noticed. In a few years, I don't think laptops will be using those anymore. I'm gonna get the Neuralink chip. Elon Musk, if you see me, I volunteer to get the Neuralink chip drilled into my skull right here. For a lifetime uh, Starlink, I need a free Twitter verification and I need a um, private jet for the Neuralink experiment. But I'll do it as an entrepreneur, the first entrepreneur to get the Starlink put in his head. I'm worried for that, Elon. Get at me when you see this. But uh, yeah, here. I want to bring the bike out for the summer. I need to lose some more pounds around this area. I think we can ride this from here to Niagara Falls? We're going to do a race? Do that one day? Let's do a marathon from Hamburg to Niagara Falls. I need everybody in the area who want to ride was 20, 30 miles. How long is that? That's about 30 miles. I gotta give me some new tires. Let's do that. Let's bring it. Oh, Let's do like it. Harsh. But yeah. People first logistics, man. You see what's going on. Got the book. Get it. Join the community. Likes do all that for your boy. He did. But yeah, number one, man, in the trucking industry, in the truck game. If you know any truck drivers, you already know they're gonna preach safety. You wanna, you know what I'm saying? You always wanna go home to your family. You always want to return back how you came. Now, it's a lot of stuff out here though, you see? I'm hands free, I got both hands. I'm not holding no camera, no phone, no nothing. Most trucks even nowadays got a camera in the front of them right here. You can't even be reckless on the truck because the trucks got cameras in them. Everywhere really got cameras in them, so you should treat that like that at all times. Grind, hustle, working. That's it, man, safety. You want to return home to your family like you came, though. You know what I'm saying? You don't never want no, thank God I ain't never had no fatality with none of my drivers. You know? We done had wrecks and accidents and stuff, but no death. And I done been around some truck companies that done had people die, so don't take that lightly. You dig what I'm saying? But you want to be a safe driver. Like I said, most of these trucks have Netrodine, so I can see if you own a truck company, you want to get software like Netrodine, ELD, so you can track your driver's performance, see if they braking too hard, stop and stop signs, see if they wearing a seat belt. You know what I'm saying? See how many times they turning their engine on and off. It's a little different. It's so much technology now. You need your regular insurance. My insurance app 
tell me when I'm speeding too much with all states. So it's apps out there to, to, to track safety if you're the business owner. If you're the driver, drive like it's your car. You wouldn't be out here doing wild stuff in your car, risking your life. So don't do it when you get behind the wheel. Make sure you stopping at the stop signs. Make sure you keeping a safe distance in between you and the next car. It's a car, two, three, four, five car lengths. You know what I'm saying? Make sure when you get out for a delivery, you turn the vehicle off, lock the keys. Now I have had vans stolen, drivers. Take the keys out of your car. Turn the van off every time you get in and out. I know you think you saving time and being fast. I done had vans get stolen because people think it can't happen. Everybody think it can't happen to you until it happened to you. You know what I'm saying? Take the keys out at every stop. Lock the door. I don't know if you've been in America. People hungry out here, man. They'll go in the van. They'll still. I don't even know why people steal from Amazon because you, you never know what you're getting. You can get paper clips. This ain't like Amazon just out here delivering TVs and all that heavy equipment. It's not like that. You dig what I'm saying? There's regular paper clips and folders that all the random stuff people order off Amazon each and every day. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing spectacular. So yeah, mindful. People are always watching you out on the road. So you want to get back to your home, your family, everybody safely. That's what it's all about. Taking care of the people, taking care of your family, keeping it in. So yeah, safe, seat belt, hands on the steering wheel, always scanning the road. Just because you're a good driver don't mean the people around you are good drivers. So defensive driving, watching your right and your left scanning, looking through your rear view, you're using your camera to bag up. That was a tongue twister, but yeah. Staying focused, man, that's it. Paying attention, road running, staying down, stay focused, doing your job, not complaining, getting back home to the family and the people we love, want to spend time with. That's all I'm about, man, just handling your business. I'm not no overbearing boss, I'm not no, I'm just here for the work and that's it. As long as we get better each and every day, let the chips fall where they may. As long as you try at your best every day, laid it on the line, hey, only God can judge you, you dig what I'm saying? Can't nobody hold you down, keep fighting. That's what we on.